Welcome back to Adventures with Mitzi. I'm Aaron and we're on day four of the Heisen Trail. Today we're doing Balquitta Campground to Waipinga and yeah, I'm pretty excited. It's looking like a beautiful day out here. We just drove down, it's the morning. I'm about to cook breakfast and yeah, there's just a little, uh, we'll have a little look here. Beautiful rainbow, hey? Not a bad way to start the episode. As you can tell, there's a little bit of uh, new technology about today. I've got a new action cam. I'm using the Insta360 ONE RS. I'll be doing a video about it shortly. I'm going to set up breakfast. I'm going to give the camera a bit of a charge. And yeah, we'll get to uh, hitting the trail. It's going to be a beautiful day and I'm excited. So I'll see you after breakfast. As you can see behind me, the sun is coming up. We have breakfast made. Hopefully it still looks good in 4K. I just wanted to show you, those of you tuned in last week, we have uh, made a very significant purchase. We have two very basic torches, just in case we do get stuck in the dark again today. Not anticipating we will get stuck in the dark, but I never am. Better to be prepared than uh, be like me last week. Let's eat some breakfast and then we'll get on the trail. All right guys, here we are. Finally on the trail now. We're starting out about a kilometre away from Malquitta Campground. We'll stop there, we'll do a little bit of drove footage because this is a beautiful spot. Take a few shots. Do a little pan around. Gonna give the camera a full test today. It's gonna be staying in my pocket here. I was thinking about it, we're on leg four today. Overall, I think so far we've walked about 114 kilometres. Three legs return with all of the sections of me getting lost along the way. <laughs> I'm gonna post a running tally of how far we've actually walked versus how far along the actual trail we are. So you can keep track of where we're up to and how many days we've been walking. I'm not doing these walks back to back. I am giving myself rest in between. Obviously I have to work and take care of other things as well. Maybe towards the end of the trail, we might do some multi-day hikes depending on how things go. I'm excited. I'm not sure what today's gonna to bring. I know this is probably the last leg along the coast which makes me a little sad because I do love walking near the beach, but you know, we have had three legs along the beach so far. I think I'm up for something new. We're only uh, 30 minutes away from uh, Victor Harbour. I remember when we started at Cape Jervis, it was, uh, it was around an hour to drive out in the morning to get there. We're definitely moving. <laughs> it's slow, but it's great. Just a cool day. I will check in with you once we hit the actual start, Balquitta, and give you an update. Here we are, we just made it to Balquitta Campground. I've had, a, I've had a quick check to make sure that there's no one camping here so I can talk rather loudly, as I think I might need to with the case on the camera. So it's 9.08 and we're sitting at about just over 2Ks exactly. And yeah, this is the little campground area. I'm gonna do a bit of a walk around, show you some of the facilities just in case you were thinking you're coming here. And then we'll get some cool drone footage and be on our way. As you can see to my right, we have the toilet facilities. I would assume they're probably just dropped toilet. There's a beautiful creek that runs through here. I'd actually love to come down here. This is probably, this is definitely on my list to come down here for just a night's camping. You can only have gas fires here, but you do have a nice little seating area here. And you can probably hear there's just a little creek flowing through down here. Just gorgeous. This is uh, Balquitta Campground, so let's get a look from the skies. some good drone footage there. Beautiful countryside, just pure green. I just love it out here. We'll get back on the trail.
came out of the rolling hills and we're down here in this valley with the sun just rising up behind us. Try and do the professional far away arm shot. I'll give you a nice wide view of the valley as we walk through here. It's just gorgeous. Such a beautiful morning coming in through here oh, under a tree. <laughs> Hopefully the stabilization is doing its trick. So I not have the steadiest of hands. Definitely wouldn't want me as a surgeon. All right, let's do a little pan around. I think we're heading towards the ocean, so once we reach whatever's at the end of this little valley, I'll check back in. beautiful big waves here. I recorded some footage of the waves coming in and they come in through down into the creek there and uh, kind of watch over the rocks and it went a punch right across. By some miracle my Gore-Tex hiking boots have managed to keep me dry crossing that thing so there's a nice big wave look at that. So it's 10.30 and we're sitting about 6.82 k's give or take 2 k's so about 5 k's into the hike. Let's get to it. So it's just about 11 and uh, we've done about Eight and a half k since we left Mitzi. About six and a half down the trail, about a bit over a third of the way there. We've just been sport by these beautiful beaches. It's just incredible the sound of the waves crashing just offshore. Just thunderous. Love it. it does seem a little lonely without Kangaroo Island to keep us company, but uh, the sound of the waves definitely do a good job of making the whole thing very serene. Fourth hike so far, and I feel like I've just come so far, you know? Not just in terms of kilometers, but just in terms of growth, you know? The challenges I've faced, losing the drone, getting lost, being stuck in the dark, walking through the trail. It was such a crazy adventure. And I've just loved every minute of it, you know? Yeah. Just enjoying being alive. We're just down on the beach now, after being up on those cliffs over there. It is a little crazy down here by the beach and I'm a little reluctant, but I think I'm gonna get the drone up just for a little bit of footage along the beach just because I think it's such a beautiful spot. We'll see how we go. Just about near the end of the beach, I just saw a, a small bee on its back, just back there near the sand dunes. So I picked him up without letting him sting me and I blew on his wings for a bit. I hope he gets on well. It's not the best of days to be a bee. I think they prefer sunshine and flowers. Can't say I'm much different, to be honest. But hopefully it gets on well. It always amazes me to have this place to myself. I can see some people up on the lookout up ahead. I saw another hiker down at uh, our Quitter campground as I was leaving. But apart from that, I haven't seen anyone else on the trail so far. It just surprises me that you'd be doing anything else with your weekend. You can be out here. Just gorgeous. come up on the road. Basically, as I said, I was seeing one single soul. I saw a bunch of people. Seems like this little spot down here is good for fishing. A bunch of blokes stand around there having a fish. That's oh, perfect weather for it, really, I guess. It's only spitting. As long as you're rugged up warm, got yourself some warm drinks and a thermos. We're here at Lopenka Campground. We've been lucky enough to do two seats for life. I'm gonna pack down some food. We're currently sitting at 14.77 kilometers which means this was probably only a bit over 12 and a half we've done three and three quarters hours hiking and it's 12 30. i'll see you once we've had lunch and back on the bloody trail it was a bit of a special treat at waipinga campground uh dennis's hut built in 1890. now apparently dennis or Denno, his wife Sharon, Shazza, and um, they were the first to have these uh, these square windows, which was very um, controversial at the time. Back in those days, most people just had uh, walls; they didn't really have windows. So, having two windows back in the day was a bit of a uh, novelty. You also had a uh, square doorway, which was considered very fancy back then. Most people just had holes that they would crawl through. Now, apparently, on a clear moonlit night, you can still hear them arguing over the fact that Dennis spent all their money on the windows and forgot to put in uh, some flooring. So, interesting little story there, hope you liked it. 
So it's just gone 12.40. We're sitting on just a little bit under 15 k's. Now we're on our way back. Quite an easy day so far. No real challenging hills besides those, I guess those first little bluffs that we went across. Up and that's been pretty good. A little bit of rain, but nothing severe and it seems to be tapering off a little bit now, but we might get a bit more. Apart from that, hunky dory mate. finally stopped. We're here on the uh, the second beach down. It's about 1.30, sitting on about 19 k's down, so about 4 k's on the way back. Probably about another 11 to go, so we should be back I reckon probably around 3. It's going to be a nice, uh, nice easy day comparably. <laughs> but it's nice now that the rain stopped and it looks like the uh, sun might be out soon, so might be out for a bit of a treat on the way back. Hopefully keep our feet dry. As you can see, we've made it back down to the original crossing. I think we've got our title, Can He Make It Across the River of Death? Which seems to actually be lower than before, but we won't tell the rest of the people who clicked on the video about that, will we? So I think what we'll do, rather than set up a tripod and go through twice, I'll get the drone up, it's got a little bit of battery left, and we'll hover it so we can see ourselves jumping across it and see how we go. There is the uh, raging crossing, and as you can see, the ocean is threatening to overwhelm me. So hopefully the Gore-Tex can hold up and my coordination holds up to not make a fool of myself on YouTube. So we just hit 27.4 kilometers and we just passed uh, Balquitta campground for the second time. It's about a quarter to four. I'm feeling pretty good. I love this little walk through the pines. That's why I stopped to put the record on. It's so serene in here. A lot of birds just through the trees and cockatoos and rainbow lorikeets flying overhead. I saw a couple of people camping down at uh, Balquitta. A couple of people who look like they've come from uh, the Tapanapa side, so they were looking pretty tired after the big hike. They weren't too far away from their night's rest, so I'm sure they'd be happy, especially with a nice campsite like that. All in all, a good day. Not too much left to say, really. It was beautiful walking down there by the beach with the waves, and even all the weather. It was the first time I really got caught in the rain since I started this. It was nice just being out there in the elements, feeling a little bear grillsy. <laughs> all right, well, we'll check in once we're in the van and yeah, call it a day. Hey guys, if you made it this far, thank you. You guys are legends. I really appreciate it. We made it back. It is just past four o'clock. We clocked up. 28.96 kilometers up and back to Waipinga. I just wanted to say thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate you guys. If you've come this far, you've watched all three episodes prior. I'm really um, doing my very best to, to make this exciting for you guys. Um, I have a great time filming and thinking of ideas and silly things to do while I'm out on hiking and I really like sharing things with you. Before I go, I just want to say a, um, a special thanks to my mum and um, David. They have been always supportive and have done so much to help me um, in the last few months to just make all this possible so thanks guys i really appreciate you guys if you haven't already um, please like and subscribe thanks so much guys stay kind and keep moving forward